whoa i just went to visit my friend's garden and there were so many bugs on the ground there must have been like 10 no 20 no 50 no 100 i bet there were 100 bugs in that garden it was kind of creepy but kind of cool i had never seen so many bugs at once before have you ever seen 100 of something it's a lot in this lesson we're going to learn about 100 in math, our number system is based on the number 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As our numbers get larger, we can have two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, all the way up to 10 tens. Just like how there are 10 ones in one ten, there are 10 tens in 100. Let's skip count by tens together until we reach 100. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We just skip counted by 10, 10 times, and that got us to 100. So, if there are 10 tens in 100, how many ones are there? Right, 100. 100 is equal to 100 ones. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Uh, you take it from here. I'll meet you at 90. 88, 89, 90. Hey, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Great job. When we write the number 100, we have a one in the hundreds place. Then we have a zero in the tens place and a zero in the ones place too. Those two zeros are acting as placeholders, so we can show 100. Did you know that in money, 100 pennies is equal to $1? And in time, 100 years is called a century. So someone who lives to be 100 years old is called a centenarian. Just some cool hundreds facts. Anyway, 100, also known as 100 ones or 10 tens, is a really special number. Now, I have a question for you. If you could have 100 of anything, what would it be?